Hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to jump on today and talk about um, this current virus that's kind of happening that's really scaring a lot of people. Um, I've tried to make this short as possible and to the point, I tend to ramble. So that's why you don't see that many videos of me. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time. But what I want to say is, you know, it, it's really disheartening to see how many people out there are really living in fear of this. They're really worried and full of anxiety. And while I think a certain amount is healthy, I think, you know, we do need to wake up and kind of pay attention to what's happening. And um, things do happen for a reason. And there's always something to learn with what God allows occur in our world. Um, I think that we do need to do our part and, you know, not only, you know, pray, but we need to just do basic common sense. You know, we wash your hands and, you know, take care of yourself. Don't be around others who are, are sick or if you think you could be sick. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of basic common sense measures that honestly we should already be doing. Um, but apparently nobody you know, a lot of people don't know how to do that. Um, so we just keep spreading the knowledge, you know, and, and I think that's wonderful, but I, it is upsetting how much people are really scared over this. And, and you got to understand that, you know, God is in control and he's in control of everything. And, you know, you, you have to put your faith in that and you have to, um, realize that he is working in all this. And, you know, I see a lot of people, um, throw a lot of hits at, um, especially Christians who, you know, they'll, I know I saw a particular, um, comment by someone, you know, basically saying how, oh, Christians are going to just pray, pray their way out of it and everything. Um, and while, you know, it is necessary to pray, I think that you do need to play your part and, and do take action. Um, it's a, a two-way process. And um, that's the one, the biggest thing of, of a lot of non-believers that I struggle with is their, you know, views on how we are to handle situations and things and it, it just it cracks me up sometimes because you know we we don't think we live in a bubble you know we we do have a certain amount of faith but we also are responsible and and just practice common sense um you know, we're all here together and we all are going through this together. And I think that we should, you know, all do what we can to help each other and not cheer each other down or, you know, laugh at one another in, you know, in their moments, you know, instead lift helping hand, you know, let someone know if everything's going to be okay. This is just the steps you need to take to take care of you and your family. And um, and even the, f the food industry announced, you know, that there's no need to worry over food supply, you know. Um, and people are, are just going nuts buying everything, you know. And it's okay. It's their anxiety. They're, they're scared. But you have to understand that you know, this is going to pass. And while it will pass, there will be more. Um, God didn't say that this life would be easy. Uh, there's going to be plenty of hardships. There's, it's, it's only going to get worse. There's going to be more illnesses, more diseases. And you, you don't want to sit here and constantly live in fear and break yourself down. He doesn't want us to live that way. He that's why he tells us we need to have faith in him. And we are to not fear. 
Um, each moment we live in fear is each moment that evil takes our life and our hope is in him and our future is in him and there's nothing that can take that away. So I just wanted to say that today and um, like I said, we all pray and we pray for each other and we also take care of each other, okay? Um, stay safe, wash your hands, eat healthy, and get plenty of rest, and this too shall pass.